Hey guys, it's Cassia. Alright, as most of you know, I am traveling to Japan this month. Probably when this video is uploaded, I will be in Japan, so that's super exciting. But today I thought I'd show you kind of what I'm packing for Japan, makeup and skincare wise. I like watching videos like this, I find it really helpful, um, and I'm really nosy, I love seeing what's in other people's makeup bags, so I thought maybe if you guys were similar, then you guys would enjoy this too. Yeah, as you can see, I've got three bags here. I've got my bag for on the plane, my bag for my skincare, and my makeup. So I will be going through every single thing that I've packed so far in here and see what I'm missing, stuff like that. I will be putting the makeup that I'm packing on my face to get a little bit of a travel makeup look as well. I find it really, really helpful just so I know that every single product will be used or maybe I can em eliminate products that probably won't get much use over there so that I don't overpack, stuff like that. Yeah, if you wanna see what I'm packing for Japan and just carry on watching. So first of all, we've got my on-flight travel makeup kit here. So this is just everything I'm gonna bring on the plane in my little carry-on bag. This little bag is from Mecca. It came with a few little bits inside, so it came with little pots and little bottles for you to put things in. Obviously some airports are super, super strict with what kind of bag you take but usually it just has to be clear and that should be fine and also everything in this bag is under 100 mils sticking to the requirements first of all we've got a hand cream this is by Sol de Janeiro this is one of my favorite hand creams ever it just smells so good and this is 50 mils so that's perfect I've also got my hourglass lip oil which I'm actually gonna apply now as well everyone needs a lip balm lip lip balm slash oils are like everyone's essential so of course have that I've also got the deep sleep pillow spray by this works it's just it's something I always have to bring on the flight. I don't always use it, but it's just like comforting to have it there with me. And this is 10 mils as well. If I get nervous on the flight, stressed, or I just find it hard to go to sleep, spray this on the pillow. It instantly relaxes me, and it sometimes does help me sleep, so need this. I have a mini hydrating setting spray from Mecca. This was in one of the little Christmas holiday packs, and it's just literally a little spray. Also good and it just refreshes your face. Again, airplanes are really, really bad for your skin, so anything that will give me hydration, I will take. I've also got this little perfume. My friends Christy and Sophie got me this for Christmas and it just smells so good. I think it's the brand More. Lychee Flower Perfume Roll-On Oil. It just smells so, so good and obviously gonna be stinky on the flight, so needs a perfume. I've got my Tangle Teaser, of course. got these little eye patches. These are the Mecca Cosmetica Hydrogel Eye Mask. I've got two of them because we've got a layover, so I'll use this on the flight to Singapore and then from Singapore to Tokyo. So I've got both flights covered. I've got this little pot full of the Clinique Hydrating Jelly. I think it's the jelly. Basically, it's just really, really good at hydrating your skin, keeps your skin hydrated for 24 hours. I have been using this every single night. It's so, so good, and it's really good for anti-pollution. So obviously, you're on the flight, sitting there in like recycled air and everyone's breathing in everyone's farts, which is very pleasant. So this is just gonna be really, really good for my skin, and my skin's gonna be super happy that I'm bringing this. And I've got two face masks, which is a little bit excessive, but that's me. The purple one here is the Tatcha Violet Sea Mask. I probably wouldn't use this one on the plane. This is more for when I'm actually in Japan. This one is just really good at everything. It just brightens up your skin, um, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, adds hydration, literally does everything. So that's perfect. And then my newest love is my Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is one of my favorite masks. I'm wearing it right now. You kind of can put it on in two ways. Either you smooth it on just like a really thick moisturizer and let that sit throughout the day or overnight, or you can put on like a thick layer like a normal mask and then just like tissue off the excess. Skin is just gonna thank me so much for it. It just adds like so much glow to your skin. It is my favorite thing that I've discovered recently. So of course I have to have a little pot of this. So that was everything in there and I've added a little note here. Basically I need to add a mini deodorant and a mini toothpaste and my toothbrush in here as well. That's everything I'm gonna be taking on the plane. So now for my skincare bag. This bag and my makeup bag are both from Kmart. Kmart delivers all the goods. Yeah, I really like this because it is clean. I can just see everything inside there and it has two little compartments so in this smaller compartment here. More of the eye masks, I've got three of them. And then I've just got my little muslin cloth as well. I add some like cotton rounds and some cotton tips just there as well. But these three little bottles here, this one I'm gonna fill up with body wash and then shampoo and conditioner, I just haven't done that yet. And I've just got minis of all my skincare. So I've got my Tatcha cleansing oil and then I've got my Drunk Elephant Best Bestie number nine jelly cleanser. You guys know how I feel about double cleansing. So that's what I've got. Then I've got my serums. I've got the Drunk Elephant TLC serum, the 
hydra the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum and I've got my, a mini of my Shabba Complex Eye Serum as well. Also depotted some of my exfoliator. This is the Grown Alchemist Grapefruit Exfoliator, I think it's called, in the little blue tube. And then I've got a body moisturizer too. This is also from More, and this is also lychee flower scented. Okay, now for my makeup. So this is my makeup bag. It just has a little handle. It's black with rose gold, just like the skincare one. And I love this because it has like a little mirror inside, and it's actually like a decent size mirror. Like, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but it's actually like a good size. All of my makeup fits in here as you can see. So I'm going to run through everything that I'm bringing obviously and I'm also going to put it on my face as well. So let's go. So I've got this little thing. I always take this with me everywhere. I believe this is from Real Techniques. It came in one of their sets and it's just a brush holder. I've used this for literally years. It carries everything I need and it's really good because it makes me not bring too many brushes. Like I really have to think about what brushes I'm bringing. So this is really good. I've also got my sponge and those are all the tools I'll be bringing. I'm going to start off with my touch of water cream. I'm not bringing any like moisturizing primer just because I figured I could just use my moisturizer. I also have the Summer Fridays mask on as well so I just have a lot of hydration in my skin. Okay once that's sunk in I'm going to apply my Tatcha Silk Canvas. I've just got it in this little pot right here just because you don't need much of it. Tatcha Silk Canvas has like such big packaging so I didn't really want to bring that and this is just all that I need. You guys know this one's just really really good for smoothing out your skin and creating a perfect canvas. So in my normal day-to-day -day life I don't really wear foundation and I don't really see myself wanting to wear foundation over there. I'm just bringing my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is in the shade Canel. This is the shade I like to use on my face. I'm just going to apply this on places that I would want some coverage. And this concealer just adds the perfect amount of coverage whilst also looking really skin-like. It just looks so natural. I'm also taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one's just for under my eyes to brighten up that area. I feel like I'm going for really minimal like skin makeup. That's just what I've been loving. Alright, so the next thing I'm bringing is actually new to my collection. I am in love with this. So this is by Hourglass. It's their Loom Sheer Color Trio Palette. It's basically just a cream palette and has a beautiful bronzer, blush, and highlight. One of the only face palettes I've ever used that I love every single shade in. I am going to be applying this. I also have brought powder options as well, but I feel like because I'm not really wearing foundation, I can get away with like doing more cream. Because I'm not wearing foundation, the powder products won't really come up that great on my skin, so adding the creams first will make them actually show up. This is such a pretty color bronzer. It's like verging, like borderline a little bit orange, but I really like it. It's just adds a really beautiful like sunkissed glow. The whole palette just makes your skin look really glowy and shiny, which I love. It just eliminates the amount of tools I have to bring. Like so far for this whole look, I've only used the sponge. I'm gonna go in with some of the blush. So so pretty. I know this is more of like a summery look, and it's gonna be winter over there, but. Just like I love the same kind of skin look all year round. So now taking the highlight, so so pretty. Oh my god! Like it like gives you like a natural glow, but it's still really intense as you can see. All right, that's my skin makeup pretty much done. Super super glowy, super simple. Took like two minutes to do. I'm just gonna brush in my brows as well with just some clear brow gel. Do you have my eyebrows tattooed? So that is just not a problem. Literally, I had a dream last night that my brow tattoos were fading and I just didn't have eyebrows anymore and I was so upset. I was like, why are they leaving me so early? They meant to last the year. I was really upset. So you guys know I've been loving the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder and I bought a mini version of it. It's super, super cute. I just didn't want to bring the whole like big one as well. Again, packaging of that one super, super big. So there was a mini version, so I was like, of course, going to get that one. This is translucent, so it's not going to add any color to it. The cream products that I've just set down, mainly using this to set the under eye concealer and stuff like that. It's a good step to tell me what brushes I actually am using and what I'm not using, so definitely using this for powder. I've also bought my NARS Laguna bronzer as well, a MAC 163 brush. The blush I'm bringing is a new one to me, it's NARS Oasis. It is Super, super pretty. Actually has some shimmer in it as well. It's just so, so nice. And also bringing a blush brush. This is Zoeva Deluxe Cheek Finish. So I've also got that as an option as well. And finally for skin, for highlight, I've got my favorite Holy Grail Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And also a little 
This is the Morphe M505 brush. I've been loving using a brush like this just to add a highlight. But again, I feel like my skin is sufficiently glowing and beautiful. So I bought a few things for the eyes and I don't really think it's necessary. I need my little Smashbox Ultraviolet um, eyeshadow palette. It's got like purples in it. Like it's not very wearable, but I just think that'll be super, super fun. I don't know. I just really want to wear more color and this is really small and perfect for traveling. So... I don't know, we'll see if I actually use this, but it's going in my bag anyway. I, I feel like for like fun things like Disneyland, I'll pop this bad boy out, but like, I don't know. We'll see if I use it. And for the big main palette, I'm bringing my Kylie Cosmetics Sipping Pretty palette. This is, a 20, this is her 21st birthday palette. I just think it has the perfect amount of neutrals. It has some pink fun shades, some blues, some purples. I think this will be super, super fun. I'm also later today getting eyelash extensions on, so that's super fun. So that's another reason why I don't know if I'll be doing much eyeshadow. I've never had eyelash extensions before, so I guess I'll have to wait till I get them on and see what I do. See what happens. Um, I'm also bringing my NARS at Climax Mascara just for my bottom lashes. This is just my favorite mascara ever. Also bringing my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Eyeliner. Again, I don't know how easy it is to do a winged eyeliner when you've got lash extensions on. I'll have to test that out when I do have them on. I'm also bringing my Pebble Eyeliner from Urban Decay. I cannot live without this. I don't know why, especially because I'm bringing the Smashbox palette. I feel like I won't do an eye look today just because Again, I don't really know what it's going to be like with eyelash extensions. I might get them on today and then be like, oh, I'm not going to bring any eyeshadow. So I'm not going to do a look today. Hope you guys forgive me for that. But you've got a good like skin tutorial. For eye brushes, I bought three blender brushes. One is the MAC 217. One is my favorite Morphe M506, the little one. I bought a pencil brush for my inner corner highlight. Um, a kind of more dense packing brush. My favorite brush to use for under the eyes. And then this brush is for like packing shades onto my lid. So those are all the eye brushes I'm bringing. Oh, I'm also bringing two glitters because how can I go three weeks without glitter and sparkle? So I'm bringing my Sunset Co by Stila and then also Kitten Karma. Just two very pretty glitters. I'm also bringing this. This is one of the best things I've bought on holiday. I bought this in Shanghai, but basically it's like a little travel mirror. It's so, so good. Okay, now for lip products. This is the reason I needed to do this video because I need to try all these on and see if I actually really need them because I have about six lip products and that's just not necessary for anyone. I'm definitely bringing this. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Coconut Lip Liner. This is just my favorite lip liner, my go-to. I wear this with any single shade. So I'll line my lips now. Her form is just one of my favorites and it just makes your lips literally look so, so plump. So I love that. I don't know if I want to bring this, but this is the Revlon in the shade HD Sand. It's just one of their like color lip balm kind of things. This looks like this. It's just super comfortable. Just like a hydrating lip balm with a bit of color. Makes your lips look super glossy as well. This lip would suit any kind of eye look I want to do or even no eye look. Go with everything, it's super comfortable as well. So that's a definite maybe. So the second one I want to bring is the Hourglass Confession Lipstick. This is in the shade I'll Never Stop. These lipsticks literally last through anything. They last through eating, they last the whole, whole day. So this is one of those lipsticks that I won't have to like worry about touching up that often. And this one is stunning as well. I wear this lip combo like every single day. Again, it'll suit any kind of eye look. It'll suit everything and it is long wearing. So this is another really good one. It's also very comfortable, so is really hard. I'm gonna like keep all of these in the bag. I've also got this one. This is another new product to my collection. I probably won't bring this. I don't really know. This is a different kind of color to the first two. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Decibel. This came in a little pack with, pack with this shade as well, which I'm not, I'm really iffy about this shade. This one is just so comfortable and this one's more of kind of like a rosy pink tone. Oh my god, I love all of these. Really bad. I love this because it just makes your lips look super smooth. Like you can't see any wrinkles in my lips. It just like blurs your lips. And finally, I've got a liquid lipstick. Not really sure if I'll bring this. I just feel like this will be good for. I just feel like this will be good because I won't have to worry about it throughout the day because it is a liquid lipstick. But it just won't be as comfortable on the lips as them. I mean, Jeffrey's formula is really really good. Um, and it's really comfortable. It's just like obviously not going to be as comfortable as 
no lipsticks. I think I might give this one a miss. I do love how it looks, but I do really like it. I just feel like I won't be bothered dealing with the liquid lipstick. So those were all the nudes that I wanted to bring. I wanted to bring some colorful lip options just in case I'm in the mood. Honestly, I never usually am in the mood for like reds and stuff and dark colors. But these are my lip options anyway. So this is the Too Faced Melt and Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in their little Christmas set that came with four different liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Cinnamon Bear. This is such a pretty red. I love this. And this formula is so good. Like, I wanted to bring, I wanted to bring a red lip that was a liquid lipstick just because I know that I won't have to touch it up. This one has a really, really good formula. I've worn this so many times. I've worn it to work before in the holiday period and it has just stayed on the whole time. Didn't have to retouch. So, so good. It's really fun. And like all of the clothes that I'm bringing are really neutral. And so a red would look really cool with like a full like neutral look or even a black like outfit. I'd have to bring a lip brush if I wanted to bring that one though because the application is so hard without a lip brush or lip liner. Okay, I probably won't bring this one. This one's super, super purple. I thought it'd be more like burgundy. But it is, it is very pretty. It is very comfortable. It's got the same like comfortable, soft, like blurring formula for the lips. But I just don't see myself wearing this color. Okay, so this is one of my favorite lip products of all time. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Get It On. It's just the perfect shade. Will suit every single look super super comfortable super long wearing like the most long wearing lip product i've ever used in my life just so so nice so i think this one's a definitely i'm definitely bringing this one to be fair they all do fit in my bag i just don't want to overpack and just in case i do my makeup over there then i can put it in my bag just five lip products is really really excessive but yeah that was everything that was in my makeup bag as you can see it fits a lot and i've just put a little note up here to buy some like makeup wipes. Hopefully I can find like a mini pack of them. I don't know if they do like mini packs of facial wipes, but we'll see, we'll see what I find. But that's the only other thing I have to add in here. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything I'm bringing and how I'm packing everything, all that kind of stuff. And there'll be another packing video coming soon. I'm gonna vlog my whole packing experience because I've never packed for a winter holiday before. And yeah, I'm trying my best to pre-record videos whilst I'm away. I don't know if I'll have enough for whilst I'm away, but I'm trying my best, so if I miss an upload or two, please don't hate me, I will be back soon, and I'll also be vlogging my whole Japan trip, so you get Japan vlogs as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up if you did, subscribe to my channel if you guys liked what you saw. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.